Hi friends, my name is Borrodante, his name is Forehead, welcome back to the Centipede. So here's the progress, and here are your comments. The first one and the most critical one is that we should make the skin shiny, greasy and dirty, and maybe translucent as well. Cause he looks super clean, which makes no sense for the horror character. 100% agree. More bandages somewhere. Not like this, of course, but somehow we'll add them. I guess on the arms. It looks cool when they're like, there's something wrong with the arms and there will be like spots and fingers are also in the bandages, maybe. We'll try it out. I think it's gonna be really cool. Not every single arm, but some arms. What else? The stitches. This is gonna look awesome. We're gonna stitch up all the parts of the centipede surgically, because this is probably the origin of this character. He's been surgically turned into the centipede from a lot of people. And this thing right here is, um, well, some sort of armor, rusted metal. A lot of you friends said that this would be a good idea, a good addition to the Silent Hillish character to add something metallic. I'm not sure it's gonna be like this, but this was the first thing that came to my mind, you know, like when people are disabled, they have... Like Forrest Gump, remember he had like a metallic structure around his legs? That kind of stuff, but rusty and very old. Also, my own thought is that this area of the body looks too stiff. It would be cool to make him go a little bit like this and then like this. Not this much, but a little bit because this area feels too straight, it's kind of unpleasant. Like if you look at the whole thing, it's kind of like wavy, wavy, and then goes like super straight here. Kind of weird. It would be cool if it would go like this a bit. So these are the goals. Let's start with the spine fix. Doing fucking animation now. Well, I guess this looks cool. Better than this, right? Or not necessarily, hmm. Let's maybe rotate him even more. Okay, I actually like this one more now. The new one. Let's actually show that this guy's ribcage is very widely open, sort of, because he is stretching much. Okay, now let's make everything darker. Kinda like these. I have the whole character in a separate layer, so we can easily adjust him like this. He's actually a token. <laughs> the weirdest token ever. Oh, maybe if he's a token, then we should finish this arm, so he would be like all in the shot. Yeah, let's do that. The left hand, the bicep part. Someone said it looks weird. Well, yeah, it does, because I always mess up the rendering of an armpit. I don't know how to go about it. Another artist would look up a reference, but not this guy. This guy knows better than that. He will just struggle through the thing until he just gives up or something. Some kind of projected shadows from the fingers. Kinda looks legit. Let's actually add some metallic parts right away. Cause it doesn't make much sense to go around rendering the limbs and then cover it up with metal. Let's see. There's some kind of cap in here. The protective thing for the elbow. This is too much. Oh yeah, this is so much better. Moving on. Kind of cool. I'm not sure, I think these rings should be leather rings. And this stuff with the cap should be metal. Kind of, I'm not sure. We'll try different stuff. Okay, let's do this arm as well. I think symmetrically it will be looking good. Although it's not necessary to do the same thing everywhere. Let's make it stick out a bit more, the cap thing. Because it shouldn't feel like it's super slick and fits perfectly. It's kind of like an old school weird medical thing. Mm -hmm. 
Well, this is looking pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm thinking let's make all the rings metallic, except for these two. These should be leather and they should be connected together like this with leather as well. That would be awesome. Or even, usually they're using some kind of a complex system of leather laces, so it should go like here as well. Gotta think, should it be just a ring in here? No, I don't want a ring, he looks like Iron Man now. Maybe this kind of stuff. And somehow connected on top as well. Ooh, the thing around the neck and then the connectors, right? No, even better. It should go like this symmetrically. So now this thing kind of looks like the color of a dog or something. And then in the middle it will have the connections like this. And another one is there. Maybe too much though. <laughs> Well, this one should take place because this lace would slip down if not held by anything. Sounds like I have a lot of practice in this kind of outfit. <laughs> cool. I like it. Right? Right? Yeah, this looks awesome. Kind of legit and creepy. Now, I think there will be like the lock in here. And there should be more of these though. Basically everywhere they should go. And for the horizontal one it will be at the back, same as for the neck. We don't have to see all of them, that would be not exactly correct. Okay, we're not of course making armor for all the arms, that would be madness. All the other ones will have some kind of bandages all over the place, probably on hands. So let's work around the lighting with our new outfit. Uh, there will be some rash from all the connections where they are like constraining the skin, but we'll add those later. Although, you know what? It's stupid to add stuff later. We can work in layers and that's it. Let's do that. Too much... something like this. The surface of the rash should be actually a bit wider than the lace itself because we should show that the lace is moving around, spreading the rash all over the place. So there will be a bit more... Putting on some makeup. Not makeup, just making the lips red as they are supposed to be. Okay, this one will have rash around it. These, and maybe a little bit in here. And here as well, of course. Don't wanna overdo it though. It might turn out to be like horrible, too gory. I don't want to go too gory. I don't want to distract the viewer from the concept into just, oh my god, what kind of a gory mess this is. Uncool. Nips. Never neglect the nips. Okay, so far so good. Now. What else? Long nails. Let's try that, although we're not on that level of detail yet with hands at all. Okay, we'll get to the details a bit later. Now let's see, what else should we add? Well, yeah, nails. Let's actually try the nails. I'm not sure what kind of nails. They shouldn't be black, that would look weird. This character is cool because he's all paley, fleshy, moisty kind of thing. It's grossness. And the bandages of this pale light color as well. It looks really creepy. Like imagine the skin color cockroach. Ugh. Kinda looks cool. I think I like it, especially because it's the same color as the skin. Well, except for the translucency, it's more yellow. On this hand, it's just amazing. I don't even know if I want to add any sort of shading on it. Let's give it a try. But it looks cool just the way it is, that it's like super flat lit. It looks like it's very translucent and very rough surface, not glossy at all. But maybe glossiness is exactly what we need. 
I don't know, it feels too perfect this way. I think in this condition, nails should stay this kind of flat lit. They look a lot more awesome this way. Cool, we'll add nails on these later. Let's try the stitches idea now. I think that's gonna work out pretty awesome, but we should follow the aesthetics, not to ruin everything, with gory details like this. Forgot that I had some reds on the hands as well, so that kind of changed the picture. Now let's add some redness to see how this actually works. I feel like the stitch is too dark, kind of. Or you know what? The problem is that it should be dark and all, it's just too local, too perfect. Let's add a couple of these. Better. Tell me what you think. I guess I feel a bit unsure about the stitches because there are two soft and pale shadows around it and this thing is super dark. That's just because I haven't actually worked on this body yet. Let's work on this body then. No, no, no. We'll figure out how to deal with armpits later. In the next episode, I guess. We have to find out how to make them right. This painting should have normal armpits. Now, let's try add bandages on this hand. And this one as well, maybe. And then call it done for today. Let's just create a silhouette, kind of like we did with this armor thing. Kind of looks awesome, right? Let's try this one as well. There are some kind of rules to put the bandage on the hand. There's like, it starts here and goes like this. And I don't remember. The point is that we should add this kind of line here. It goes inside of the palm, in between the index finger and the thumb. It just looks more medical. It doesn't really matter, because we don't know who was performing the operation. But he probably was calling himself a doctor. Oh boy, I'm gonna detail the shit out of these bandages next time. Bandages plus hands? Oh my god. Anyway, here's the basic lighting, and this would be it. We'll be working on the further dudes. I guess in the next episode we'll start with putting details on the background area. So this is it for today. Looking awesome, I think. Really cool stuff with bandages and the armor turned out awesome. Nails, I think they're here to stay. Cool! Share your thoughts in the comments. And I thank you for watching if you did. I guess you did if you're here. Leave a like and subscribe. Tell a friend. Get a health insurance. Do whatever you want. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Why do I love hands so much? I should start loving feet. I suck at painting feet.